Greetings Masala followers. Today I am in uh, rural Birmingham, just outside uh, uh, the center of Birmingham uh, and at the famous Balaji temple, the SV temple uh, which is newly built here. Uh, it is primarily funded and built by the South Indian uh, Tamil community and uh, very popular amongst uh, people from all over the country. People of all ages have come together to worship and uh, experience the peace of the puja that is going on inside. And I feel a harmony that is very unique and in fact there are some non-Indians also in the audience today and who feel very much welcome and part of the community here today. question and answer session on where you can find out a little bit more um, obviously because it's very different to uh, anything I've been to before. So. In this community they have created seven different hills to represent seven of the other world faiths and behind me we see one of those hills and the idea behind this community is that they don't want to be a community in isolation promoting their own faith but they want to connect with all the faiths of the world and see in, in belief and in faith a connection with a much larger whole uh, and the unity of uh, faith they want to build. This is not a theoretical statement, you know, considering that this whole place was funded and resourced entirely by the community and they had to go through a lot of hardship initially to raise the money uh, it's interesting that they have still maintained that they want a monument to other faiths inside this complex and they want it to be a physical and a real statement, not just something which they can put in a leaflet or in words. One of the greatest gifts of India to the world 
is the culture of hospitality. It is, a, it is believed that a visitor is like a god and must be treated with the greatest respect and humility. And one of the best ways of showing your hospitality is to provide a meal to the visitor. Here at this temple where people travel for miles, sometimes from different towns and cities to come here to worship, there is a free meal, a full free lunch provided to every visitor irrespective of their religion, belief or faith. A visitor is treated with respect and given a freshly cooked vegetarian hot meal so that they can nourish themselves. Any visitor to India knows about this hospitality that is given to visitors and knows how warm the people are and how welcoming they are. But to provide this hospitality here in the UK where it is not as easy to get volunteers, where it is not easy to give time, where cooking is a lot of hard work and serving, clearing up, all takes time and effort and where people come from far is not easy. However, it is a miracle that Indian communities up and down Britain provide the same hospitality to their pilgrims, to their visitors. And, and this is a major feature of the culture here. Now, this idea and this philosophy need not just stay with the Indians. It could be taken and borrowed from the Indians and used by any community anywhere in Britain to extend a hand of friendship, to build a relationship of peace, to build a lasting, sustainable friendship. I'm Dr. Raj, I'm a founder, trustee and the uh, treasurer of the, of, the, of the institution. I've been involved with it uh, right from the beginning. Yes, my name is Narayan Rao, um, as you as we were all from the beginning involved in the temple. Presently, I'm a trustee and the chair of the trust. Um, I, 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 my whole aim is this institution must not only vibrate with spirituality but with the interfaith ethos in it. Uh, I'm uh, Vikata Ramana Rao, uh, retired as a surgeon very recently. I've been involved with this reputation of Balaji movement since 1975 and I've seen it grow in a variety of ways. We not only devote some time towards praying Lord in the temple, but also spend some time developing the Balaji youth in various activities such as cultural activities, Vedic study and so on and so forth. Different parts of the temple were built in the subsequent years every year. When was it opened? First temple of Ganesha we opened it in 1999. Okay. Then we had Lord Subramaniam open in 2000. It went on. The main deity here, the Lord Balaji, whom you have seen, uh, was opened in 2006. And uh, initially we used to have the use of another temple in Hansworth called Gita Mandir. We initially have first Sunday of each month, then it became every Sunday. Then our congregation got bigger, then the idea to was build our own temple. To our temple. Not to have a, yeah. a disused uh, uh, church or something yeah. like that. You know, what do you feel is the reaction by the community after you built the, te the temple and opened it? How has the community responded and enjoyed the new temple? And has it taken the community to a new level? <coughs> When the, 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 I'm very cautious about the community. When you say community, we mean all the Hindu community as such. Because we are not circumscribed. You know, in some places you will see a Gujarati community or a Punjabis. They are all <coughs> sectarianized by their language or which part of they come from. <coughs> but this temple is a broad Hindu temple. He comes from Sri Lanka, I come from India. Another story he comes from Gujarat, uh, some people come from in East fact, Africa. As I said earlier, you know, during our, our briefing, uh, the broad base is open to anybody, not to, not exclude the Hindus. I mean, you would have seen a lot of white people here mm -hmm. of different uh, uh, religions. And we made them welcome and we, they like to come back again. 
So that, that's why it is a temple, interfaith institution, and we promote for the welfare of whole mankind, not just Hindus. That is the ethos of the whole. Thing. That is why I think we are prospering, man. Uh, we did. We did go through problems in the in the process of coming to this stage, but we we overcame uh, successfully.